Here's how we create a sheet metal lobster back in SOLIDWORKS. We'll begin by creating some reference geometry on the front plane. I need a circle. This represents the center line of the arc the lobster back will run through. I'll place down a horizontal line. This represents the start point of my lobster back. The lobster back will form the arc in 18 degree segments. I'm going to create a center line at an angle of 9 degrees to the horizontal, half the segment angle. We'll now exit the sketch. I'll create a new plane perpendicular to the front plane and coincident with the angled line. I'll open a sketch on the new plane and draw the cross-sectional profile of the lobster back. This is a 75 diameter circle. We need to create the welded seam now. To do this, I'll draw a smaller circle, two millimeters in diameter at the intersection. We'll turn that into construction geometry and use the trim entities tool to remove the overlapping region. Next up, we need to turn our circle into a sheet metal base flange. We'll extrude it mid plane. The length of the extrude needs to extend past the horizontal center line. Now to cut this base flange to the correct shape, I'll open a sketch on the front plane. I'll convert the horizontal line in the previous sketch into this sketch and extend it to the silhouette edge of the solid. I'll add in another angled line from the origin to the silhouette edge and close the sketch off. I'll make the angle from the horizontal to the angled line 18 degrees, which is our segment size. And that's our sketch done. Now to launch the cut extrude tool. We want to extrude cut through all in both directions, but we want to cut everything on the outside of the sketch. I'll use the flip side to cut tick box to do this. Press OK and that's the first segment of the lobster back done. And because it's sheet metal, we can flatten it too. Now we just need to pattern it. You could save this away, bring it into an assembly and circular pattern it there. Or we can create a multi-body sheet metal part and pattern it in the part environment. We'll create a multi-body sheet metal part. In order for me to circular pattern this, I'll need an axis to pattern about. I'll create a new axis at the intersection of the right and the top plane. Now to launch my circular pattern tool. I'll pick my axis as the reference axis and choose the solid body as my body to pattern. We'll have five instances of the body at 18 degree spacing. Just hit the green tick to finish. And that's our lobster back done. We hope you found that useful. We'd like to take a few moments to tell you about our company. Innova Systems are a UK-based authorised reseller for SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD software. We provide the highest quality technical support and training courses to over a thousand of our customers. Buying from us doesn't just mean a box of software, you also get the backup of our multi-award winning technical support team. Innova have been voted number one for customer satisfaction for the last four years running. We are a company driven by the continued success of our customers. If you're interested in knowing more about SOLIDWORKS or the services we provide, please get in contact with us.